Hey guys, Nick10 here. Today I am back with another origami tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be uh, to doing a tutorial on how to fold my origami flasher Y. So this is a 3-in-1. It's a flasher. It is a flasher spinner. It spins for about 3 seconds. And it is a tent. Although the, that is only if you wet fold it. Um, pretty sure only the flasher thing will work. But let's get started. What you are going to need is a um, sheet of origami paper. This is a dual colored paper, um, six by six inches. And we are going to start um, right side up. So first, let's fold this edge to here. We are pre-creasing a 16 by 16 grid. I also will do a tutorial for my easy flasher Y. that unfold and fold this edge and these uh, this edge to here and now uh yeah now fold this edge to here and here actually here so let's just fold it here. And now here. Crease. Rotate. We are folding this to eight now. Unfold. Turn over and now bring this mounting fold to this mount. So like this, lift it up, right there, and crease, and fold this edge up to here. So yeah, there's that, and now I'm going to do the same here, to here, Crease, kind of making a paper fan, but is this one is very accurate. Crease, and fold this edge to here. Last one, and I rotate it and just fold this edge here on the existing crease and fold this edge to all of these edges. Crease should line up with the bottom edges. Now just crease sharply, and we have now finished um, the vertical 16 pleated um, paper. Now we, I'm going to do, I'm going to skip the part where I do it horizontally, and I will get back to you guys when I'm finished with this. Okay, so now that we have our 16 by 16 grid, we are now going to start pinching creases. So first, we are going to start by pinching. So right here, we have our little squares, and we are going to go from the center here down here so basically on the second square and start pinching diagonal so this is the colored side and right when we are about to hit the center and one more so that should be Just crease this sharply. So it is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares wide. Um, we're going to do repeat that on all the other sides. 
So go one square down from this edge, rotate it diagonally, and now pinch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares across. Rotate, go one square down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Rotate one more time. Get two squares down. And repeat it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and crease. Now we are going to make pleat patterns that are on this flasher. So we are going to repeat the same step but turning it over and now going another square down from that edge and this is on the white side. You're only going to pinch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. And it should stop right, almost where it touches the other, next one. Do the same here. One, two, three. Right here. And it, this is where it touches the diagonal point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's that. Then we just keep repeating it, and this time you can align it with this cre these creases. So now, pinch like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as you do this, the model will start to collapse a spiral -ish shape and on this square. Turn over and keep repeating steps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn over. And now one, two, three, four. Squares. One, two, three, four squares on this side. One, two, three squares. And I also recommend using larger paper um, just to make this a little easier. Two, three, one, two, one, two, and and just make a reverse fold right at the end of this part. And now I'm going to um, skip the part, but I'm going to make that same pattern on the rest of these sides. Okay, so now that we have our um, almost finished product, we can now um, finally collapse the model. And after you collapse the model, you are able to wet fold it, and when it dries, you can use the spinning the method, and you'll be able, you can have one of your own flasher spinners. Even though this one is probably not the best to use, it is still a good, good one to start with. So if you repeated that pleat pattern on all of the sides. Collapse the model. Pinch all these folds together.
and there we have it. We now have our flasher Y spinner. Um, the bottom needs some work on, though. So, I'm just going to put a little more detail to that. That way, collapse it. And there we go. Here is our flasher Y. Sorry if it's a little messed up. This is probably not the best um, kind of paper. Uh, it does get a little messy because um, of the tension of the paper. Um, but yeah, it should look a little bit like this. And yeah, that's what it should look like. And if you just stick a little point up, just a little, about like that, and while it's wet folding, it should be able to spin very good when you open and close it. So yeah, here's the washer, flasher Y. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to Nick Tan. And as always, stay slimed. Bye.